hello guys um so how are you today um so the last time i think um the video before the last one i did i showed you how to draft a pattern for a mask very perfect fit mark mask so today i'm going to show you how to sew it and um also how the including the pattern in the description box so if you have a printer at home you can print um, the pattern and just cut it out on your fabric and then sew instead of going through the whole process of um, drafting and if you want to draft of course you can draft so yeah today I'll be showing you how to how to sew the mask so um, this is the same thing we cut the other day I only write this description so that I could upload it on on um, on the day on my google drive for you guys so you can print out and this as well so this is the small one it's the filter pocket you're going to cut two pieces of this and this is the big one it's the front and the middle i'll show you and then you're going to cut four pieces of this so when you're cutting ensure that your coat um your fabric sorry is either right side facing right side or wrong side facing wrong side do you get me so today now so this line that um, I, am sh I don't know if you remember this, this is supposed to be folded. So I already ironed it. I like to iron my fabric before sewing. I already folded this part and this part. So this is what the filter pocket is going to be like. Do you see? Okay, so this can go here. And then here also, this also, I've cut four pieces of this. So now let's start by joining the fabrics together. Okay, now, so what we're going to do, you know, this is what the inside pocket is going to be like. Yeah, so I'll make this, this is the right side of my fabric, the right side. I already um, marked the wrong side with the chalk so that you guys can see. I hope you can see it. Okay, so right side facing right side. We're going to sew the um the filter pocket we just want to join them together and once we join this together i'm sure that you see that max is becoming to form so while we were drafting i told you that you shouldn't include any sewing allowance because the sewing allowance is already included so same as this yeah the sewing allowance is already there so what i'm going to do i'm going to take in just about um a quarter of an inch as a sewing seam allowance uh, some people call it sewing allowance some people call it seam allowance but i think the professional term is actually seam allowance so i'm going to sew half of an inch round yeah no sorry not round from up to down okay let me show, show and show you okay so now you see this is the filter pocket this is what i'm showing you um this is what i was telling you i already showed about a quarter of an inch i'm using the white um thread so that you can see i want it to be contrasting i hope you can see actually so you see it's it's already for me okay so for these two these other ones i'm going to sew likewise so right side facing right side this is my wrong side yeah the ones I'm the one I marked with the chuck. So I'm going to sew this round as well. I'm going to sew this from here to here. It's a quarter of an inch. Okay, now since we've done this the next thing we're going to do let's this part that this part that we already ironed for this part that we already ironed this is the filter pocket this part that I already ironed I'm going to secure this edge this way first so I'm going to secure this edge so we're going to, if you have a serger or an overlocker, you can just end the 
the edge and then flip it over okay just to make it easy so i'm going to turn it two times and then i'll sew on the edge Okay, so we have done this now. So like I was saying the other time, the there's the filter pocket, this is the middle part facing here, yeah. Wrong side of the filter pocket facing the right side of the middle part. And then the right side of the outer part right side of the outer part facing the right side of the filter pocket so we want to sew the three all together at once so what i usually do is that i use pins to hold it so that it doesn't move around okay so here are my pins I use it to hold the the fabrics together so it doesn't move around while I'm sewing. Okay, so now that I've done this, I'll now sew from here, from this edge, onto this edge, here chew here here chew here with a quarter of an inch seam allowance make sure the back stitch to secure the edges So one thing I want to tell you guys is um, anytime you're sewing um, in a curved form, anytime you're sewing in a curved form, you have to clip on those edges so that by the time you turn it inside out, it will be smooth, yeah? Likewise this side too. Because if I just turn it to the other way, if I just turn it um, to the other way around, the edges will not be smooth yeah and i don't think i have um, that patience to iron and iron and iron and it is smooth so the best thing for me is to clip is to clip just be careful so that you should clip close to your seam but then ensure that it doesn't touch the thread it doesn't touch this it doesn't go beyond yeah so just clip clip round there's no rule as to how many times you can clip, but just to ensure that you are being careful when you do it. Okay, so what I will go, what I will do now is uh, I'm going to open up the seam from the wrong side. I'm going to iron. I'll try and iron here. I'll open this side up. Yeah and iron it iron it same here open it up so what i do for this part you know it's it doesn't look easy trying to iron this part so what i do is that i turn the mask this way i put my hand inside and make it this way make it flat yeah so i'll be able to iron I'll be able to open it up and iron. Just iron to the extent at which you can iron. I'll iron this and I'll be back. Yeah, okay, so guys, I've opened up all the seams. It's quite essential for you to do that. So by the time we turn it, it will be smooth. Okay, so now I need to show you the turning as well. You know, this is three, three layer of um, mask. 
so you should turn it rightly okay so you have to put it inside and then turn again if you look inside yeah you should be able to see the right side of your filter pocket yeah if you look inside chew here you should be able to see the right side of your filter pocket so you're going to turn from that side because if you turn from the left side of your filter pocket that means you'll be turning in the wrong way yeah in the wrong direction so look inside see the right side of your filter pocket yeah and then you put your hand through to the other side and then turn it i hope you understand what i did so you see so this is the outer part and this is the part that will cover your nose mm? so this is the part that will cover your nose but if you had turned it the other way let me try and see if i can do it the other way and let's see if you turn it the other way then okay so this was what we did yeah okay so let me turn it the other way let me turn it through the wrong side of of the filter pocket mm -hmm. okay you see that it's going to turn in the wrong direction okay so if i turn it through the wrong side of my filter pocket you see this is still the outer part which is fine but you see but we don't want this part to be on our nose we want the filter pocket to also be on the right side i hope you understand me okay so this is it now so once you turn it and you see that you've turned it well you're good to go so one thing i'm going to show you now is that what i'm going to tell you now is that um you should high on just to flatten it on the right side you know the ironing we did on the wrong side already smoothened all these areas you see it's already smoothened it yeah if you didn't do the if you um, don't do that ironing it won't be as smooth as this at all so um that's one lesson as well always try to if, if you're sewing in a curved manner always try to clip and then sew um high on the same seam flatten it so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to iron it. I'll go and iron it on the ironing board. So once I iron it, I would. This is the um, outer part of the um, of the mask here. Yeah? I would place my pattern on it, yeah, and then use it to get the exact um, turning point, the point I'm going to fold. Once I iron. It will be flat and then i'll use this you know this will be inside this is the line we made on the on the pattern i use it to fold like this okay i hope you understand so i'll fold this i'll high on and fold it and then i'll come back so we can fix the the elastic okay so guys i'm back and i've ironed it you see so i folded it was actually this way before so I folded, I used this as a mark to fold it. Yeah, so that was what I was explaining the other time. So I folded it inward. So now what I'll do, this is where our elastic will be going, inside here. Hmm? So what I'll do is, I've already cut out the elastic. I think the, um, this elastic, the average is about, I notice that if I use seven, it's always too tight. But it depends on the face, you know. Um, the more the wider the face the more the elastic so for me how do use this is about 8.5 inches okay so now what i'll do is i'll fold this part this whole part here so i'll fold it one and two mm? but before i do that i'll put my elastic inside and then fold one two so and then i'll sew at this tip and then i'll sew at this tip and some people also sew first and then they put the elastic later yeah maybe with the help of a safety pin or something but i always like to do it this way 
just once and for all. So now I'll sew. I'm going to sew at the edge, okay? So that I don't sew my elastic. Can you show that I don't sew your, on your elastic? Because if you do, then you won't be able to pull the elastic. Okay, you see, I can still pull my elastic. But if you know you can't actually do without sewing on the elastic, sew first and then you can use the safety pin to pull your, or a loop holder to pull your elastic through. This is not the standard way of doing it. You do it whichever way it pays you. And whichever way is comfortable. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Okay, you're almost done. It means just two steps and then you'll be done. So what I like to do is, I don't sew on the elastic. I don't sew on the elastic to secure it. What I do is I tie it. Yeah, so um, after tying, even if I give someone or if, if it's me that is going to wear it, if I tie and then it's too tight, I can loosen it. And if it's too loose, then I can tighten it. Okay, so that is what I do. So I just tie it. I make it into a knot. Yeah, and then I pull it inside. No one is going to see. No one is going to see that part. So you are fine. So yeah, this is our mask. You see how cute it is. It's very sim very simple, and then it it's it's just beautiful. So one other thing I like to do is I like to top stitch from here to here, from here to here. I hope you can see. I top stitch from here to here, here to here, so that when I wash the mask. Yeah, I don't have to start arranging it when I'm ironing. You get me? I don't have to start arranging and hold. It's secured, so it doesn't move. It's not that when I wash the mask, this place will, will become like this and hold. Do you understand it? So I'll top stitch. I can top stitch here and top stitch here just to secure. You know, it's three folds just to secure it. So let's do that and then you'll be done. Make sure it's very close to the edge. That's why it's good to use the matching matching thread but you know i'm doing using the white thread because of the tutorial okay guys we are done you see how beautiful it is so this is how the mask look like looks like when you wear it you wear it this way hmm? and then this is the filter pocket so you can put a filter or an extra layer of fabric if you want you just put it inside yeah so making four layers as long as you're comfortable and you can breathe make sure you use um uh breathable fabric yeah so you'll be able to breathe so this is the mask and yeah let me show you this this is the one i made during the week as well this is actually a two layer mask yeah so thank you very much guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and then you can download the printable pattern as well have I've put, I've, I've put it in the description box just check it thank you very much i i hope to see you next time bye so guys this is the mask i made last week you see how fit it is <laughs> and yeah this is the one we just made you see how fit it is no need for a nose wire Thank you.